So this is my 125 gallon right now. Um, it's a bit of reflection because it's nighttime. I just did a partial water change and then I fed them. Um, and I did just want to give a little update. I did actually remove all of the dojo loaches from this tank and gave them their own tank in my bedroom. With the exception of one, and that's Silly Loach. Um, this is Silly Loach. He has some sort of, um, my best guess is some sort of neurological condition. Uh, Dojo loaches do not have swim bladders. They swallow air to keep themselves afloat. And I have observed this guy doing it on um, multiple occasions. I've had him since he was about maybe two inches long. He's about good five or six inches. Um, so I've had him a couple years now. He eats well, swims well. A lot of the time you'll just see him laying on the bottom like that though. Just, you know, sometimes he, he breathes a little heavier. Sometimes he... He just chills, but, you know, he's really personable, and he, he hangs out, and he loves to be around the other fish. I mean, now that the other loaches are gone, he's been chilling with, like, the Corys and the, the Cooley loaches, but, yeah, in general, he's just he's just a silly little guy, and, you know, I've, I've considered euthanizing him a couple times over the years, and it's just, you know, once he starts, if ever he starts to have problems where he like isn't eating or he starts getting really skinny or the other fish start picking on him and I start seeing his gills or his um fins start to get knocked up at that point I'd consider euthanizing him but at this point he acts like a normal dojo loach he just he just doesn't swim straight he just does that little twirly thing and he lays on his back a bit more but he, he doesn't really seem more stressed out or anything. I mean, he breathes heavier after he's done swimming, but that's about it. He, he's just, he's just a silly little guy.